This car right beside me may look like the BYD Han, but I can assure you that it is not. That's because this is a slightly smaller vehicle, the all-new BYD Seal, a vehicle that promises 530 horsepower, 670 Nm of torque, and up to 580 kilometers of range on a single charge. Now, look at the design of this vehicle. It truly is pretty stunning. It looks extremely sleek, and while it is a mid-size vehicle, and most mid-size vehicles we have in the Philippines are kind of boring looking, look, it has a fastback design to it, right? So, yeah, you have that sloping roof line, and it even has something there on top of the I'll show you later but for now here over at the front you get really nice led headlamps right here here by your bumper you even have like some extra leds right there too some lines on it and even a drl right in between those two now on the side of the vehicle this is what i was talking about first of all the fast back sloping roof line looks extremely sleek and this entire roof is a panoramic glass roof so if you know about the teslas you know they're, they're all about those panoramic glass roofs well BYD has got that too you know also 19 inch rims with the two-tone effect wrapped in a set of Continental Eco Contact 6 Q tires. Now when you move towards the rear of the BYD seal, this is what can really tell you that it's not a BYD Han because as you can see, the trunk looks a lot shorter compared to the BYD Han. But what I really like about this is just like the BYD Han, which by the way says 3.9 seconds at the back, this one says 3.8 seconds. That's because this vehicle right here can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 3.8 seconds. And we'll try it out later on and yeah, we'll, we'll see if that's true. Now, at the bottom, there is this very nice diffuser, looks very sporty and as you open up this trunk, you can see that trunk space is surprisingly good for the size and shape of this vehicle. In fact, you even have an underfloor storage right here and a Dyna Audio um, subwoofer because this car does come with a 12-speaker Dyna Audio sound system. So as you move inside the interior of the BYD Seal, the first thing you'll notice is just how premium it feels. So you have a lot of nice materials on your dashboard and even on the doors. And aside from a lot of leather, you also have a lot of these like suede or Alcantara. It really pops out how you do have that Dyna Audio sound system. The seats seem very comfortable too, and they seem pretty thick too. And yes, they are power adjustable for both the driver and the passenger. Now this steering wheel that is leather wrapped and right behind it is a digital instrument cluster. And here towards the center is a 15.6 inch touchscreen, which does come with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto and in typical BYD fashion you just hit a button and that tilts like that yes just like any other BYD now move further down below you have dual wireless charging pads you have this nice crystal shifter on it and this entire thing just really reminds you of the ocean because this car, by the way, is from the Ocean Series, just like the BYD Dolphin. Now, other than that, what you have in here, you get six airbags in terms of safety and a full suite of advanced driver assistance systems, which unfortunately we will not be able to test out yet as of this video, but hopefully in the future. Oh, right. That glass roof, which I talked about earlier, it looks really stunning in here and it is also tinted from the factory. Now for the rear seats of the BYD Seal, you have to remember that this is a mid-size sedan. So space for a mid-size sedan is really good too, if you compare it to other mid-size sedans. Look at the amount of space I have back here. And although legroom is good uh, because of that fastback roof, yeah, headroom can be a little bit limited. There is this quarter window here though that adds a little bit more light as if this panoramic glass roof doesn't already add a lot of light. And seating three people in here seems to be very much doable because the car does feel very wide and the floor is completely flat too. Now, as for your toys, well, there's not much. You just have this uh, center armrest, two cup holders, two air vents, and that is about it. So the BYD seal has this thing called the cell to body wherein the batteries are actually integrated into the body of the vehicle itself, into the chassis itself. So you do actually have the batteries as your floor panels and this supposedly increases your rigidity overall, also helps lower your center of gravity. So right now we do have some sort of a slalom which we're gonna test it out and see how this handles. And before that, we're gonna have a quick acceleration pull which again should be done in 3.8 seconds for the zero to 100 sprint. So in three, two, one, go. That gives you instant torque. Now we let off here and then we're gonna try it out here. Actually handles really well, despite how fast we were going. Okay, that is good. Okay, now we actually turned on the radio too while doing that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, okay. So the reason the acceleration of the BYD seal is amazing is because it has something called ITAC. Now, this is a very advanced form of traction control and in older systems, usually, you have around 7.5 degrees of wheel slip before the traction control system kicks in and limits your uh, torque to a certain wheel. But for this one, it only means like 0.022 degrees of slip. So that's how quick and responsive it is. 
Okay, so now that we're done with that predetermined course, we can now get to try out the BYD seal at our own pace. And of course, even though we're not in that course, we still do want to give it a quick acceleration pull, right? So let me stop it right here. We actually have driving modes, so let's put it in sport mode now. The whole time that wasn't even sport mode. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, let's go. Yes, does that feel quicker than a BYD Han? I would say that feels so much quicker than a BYD Han. And the handling seems to be much better too. It feels much more stable too compared to the Han. Uh, I really feel the less weight that this one has and the less size that it has. It's just good. And now in sport mode too, I'm feeling that the steering did tighten up a little bit. Does it have enough feedback? Oh. It actually does have a pretty decent amount of feedback. I'm honestly pretty lost right now, but all I can tell you is that I am having a ton of fun with this BYD seal. Okay, next up, we've already talked about the power and some of the handling, but I want to talk about how quiet this vehicle is. I mean, we're probably used to having quiet electric vehicles at this point, but that's not the point. The point here is, even for an electric vehicle, this car is quiet. You could be traveling over uh, extra legal speeds, that is, and it still feels incredibly quiet. You don't have that much of an electric motor whir. The fan of the AC is also pretty quiet too. Wind noise, I'm barely he hearing any of that. We are driving on concrete here, not even asphalt. It seems pretty quiet too in terms of uh, road noise. We do have to wait until we get to try this out on open roads and public roads for us to give an accurate description of how it feels. But yeah, I'm just giving you the first impressions right here. And so far, so good. Okay, next up, the riding comfort. There aren't too much bumps right here. Again, despite the concrete roads, uh, uh, this is a private track with uh, no road imperfections. And despite that, <laughs> what we're feeling so far is that it deals with bumps pretty well. Despite looking pretty sporty, it's actually pretty comfy too. So in case you're wondering how much the BYD seal costs, well, we'll tell you that in a bit. But first, let's talk about what it's supposed to go up against. You have the Toyota Camry, for example, the BMW 318i, the Lexus IS 300h, and all that. So pricing should be around in the three or probably even four million pesos, right? Well, wrong, because according to BYD Philippines, this vehicle right here, which by the way, you don't have the exact pricing as of the filming of this video, should only cost around 2.5 million pesos. And for that price, you're getting a fully electric vehicle that looks absolutely stunning and has amazing range and amazing features too.